Good morning, welcome to our daily psalm, and today we're reading through Psalm 117, Psalm 117. I say reading through, actually we'll barely notice it because it's so short. Um, this is the blink and you'll miss it psalm. It's only two verses long. Um, and I do love the sheer variety of material that there is in the psalms, a great appeal. Um, and we may pause to think, well, why is this? It'd be so easy to overlook this psalm. It's so small. It's still, I haven't counted the number of words, but it could, must be 25 words, no more than that. Um, so why is it there in God's written word? What's so particular about it that he saw fit to include this in the sacred writings on which we base our lives? Psalm 117 is the shortest psalm but it has the farthest reach of all the psalms and the greatest faith of all the psalms. Um, perhaps in a sense this is the most potent of all the psalms, certainly for its size. It's a psalm that gets quoted in uh, the New Testament. Paul uses Psalm 117, among others, uh, in Romans 15 uh, uh, verse 11 to clinch his argument that God's truth and mercy are given to the Gentiles, to the nations, just as much as to Jews. So he certain, certainly viewed this as God's powerful word to uh, the church at the time. There is a sense, of, I think, that I see this, this is um, Psalm 117 as, um, as it were, a, a capturing all the Psalms. This is, if you like, the Psalms in miniature, uh, the Psalms in essence. This is Psalms bottled, if you want it that way. So, let's uh, spend just a little bit of time in the, uh, the few words of Psalm 117. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Two words that we're being encouraged to, to put into practice there. Praise the Lord, glorify him. Uh, praise, we know that consists of a whole load of a range of different activities. Glorify is the giving weight to God. It includes a bit more element of, of acknowledging who God, which is quite significant actually uh, for this reason in uh, verse 1. Because Psalm 117 is both comprehensively inclusive and compellingly exclusive. Let me explain what I mean. It's inclusive in the sense that every single person the world over is counted in among those in the worshipping community. Psalm 117 does not summon uh, God's little flock of not many left people. This is a call to the entire seven billion people across the globe. So it is incredibly inclusive. But this psalm is also utterly exclusive in that Yahweh God, God's personal name is mentioned here, Yahweh God alone is the one that everybody should worship. And not just worship, but glorify, should acknowledge, give weight to in their lives. So there's nothing here of the idea that different peoples have a right to different faiths. That idea becomes all the more focused, of course, when Jesus tells his disciples that no one comes to the Father except through me. So there's an exclusiveness here. Yahweh God alone is the one to be worshipped, glorified by all the peoples of the world. And here's the reason why the whole world should worship God. Verse 2, for great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Alleluia! Or great is his faithfulness. That word great <clears throat> is a word which usually refers to the greater might of a conquering commander. So here God conquers with his greatness, with his might, the world by a greater power. But that power is his faithful love. And it's a protecting rather than domineering love his steadfast love towards us, his faithfulness. And it's, um, it's one that this verse 2, this, this faithful love, which extends from the past, his steadfast love towards us in the past, 
and the faithfulness of the Lord enduring forever. It's a love um, which goes on into the future for eternity. So no wonder the shortest psalm ends with an Alleluia, praise the Lord. And that's it. Glorious, wonderful psalm. If you say no other psalms in the rest of your life, make sure you include Psalm 117 as that one. Let's take a moment to pray. O oh, gracious God, we praise you for your faithfulness. And we pray for the vision of Psalm 117, that all the nations will not only worship you, but glorify you, acknowledge you. For we say to you, with all the people from times past and people from times to come, that great is your steadfast love towards us. We bless you and praise you for your faithfulness, shown to us most especially in your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.